So today is Friday, October 2nd. The first two days of October have been great trading days, some more momentum in the market, and I whipped out the Strand Oakmont shirt. So I felt like today was gonna be a great day for me and the Discord members, and that's exactly what happened. I went ahead and locked in a $1,300 profit on Zoom call options, and I used the same strategy that I talked about in my last video on Wednesday. I got some really awesome feedback on that video that I posted on Wednesday about the nine period exponential moving average, how I find my entries and exits when scalping option contracts. I also had a subscriber comment on it saying that he used that strategy and made some really nice profits. So that's awesome to see and I'm happy to see some of you out there using this strategy. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and pop it up right here. Make sure to go ahead and check that out. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and break down my Zoom trade, how I used the nine day exponential moving average to find my entries, to hold it, and to find my exit when I felt like it was time to take profits. We'll also look at Zoom later in the day when it started to downturn and how you could have used the same strategy to get into some put options. I'll also show you some other stocks around the market that you could have used this strategy on as well. Before we get into this video, do me a solid, go ahead and smash that like button. It'll help out the video and the channel. And if you wanna stay tuned, don't forget, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification so that you guys know every single time that I upload a video. All right guys, so I got the zoom charts pulled up here. Let's go ahead and break this trade down. So on the left side, I have the one minute chart. On the right side, I have the five minute chart. The blue line is the nine period exponential moving average and the gray line is the VWAP. So if you guys watched my last video, you know that I'm using these exponential moving averages to find my entries and exits. When there's two consecutive green candles above the blue line, I go ahead and look for a bullish position. When it goes ahead and breaks below it with two consecutive red candles, that's my indicator to either take my profits or take my loss. So that's how I use this strategy. I went ahead and talked about it in my last video. If you wanna get a little bit more in depth into it, make sure to check out my Wednesday video for a full overview of that strategy. So looking at Zoom in the morning, it was holding up pretty well. I was talking about it with the Discord members, how we were sort of uptrending in the morning, even though we had that news overnight about President Trump. So you can see we had a nice uptrend here, holding it pretty nicely. And right before the market opened, if I zoom in here, you can see we had a breakthrough, this 480 resistance, opening up the day around 485. So we had a really strong open, two big green candles on the one minute, but I didn't wanna get into it right there because I didn't wanna get turned on. I was waiting for a pullback. So I was waiting ideally for a pullback to this blue line, but I saw this one right here, almost reach it. I thought, you know, Zoom still definitely has momentum. Any pullback here is probably a good scalp opportunity. So it did open. It, pulled back and that's when I went ahead and executed my option. So pulling up my orders on the top right over here, my first one was at 932. I bought two Zoom October 9th 500 calls at $17.20. My first sell was 9.49 a.m. for 23.30 and the next one I scaled out at 24.40. Total profit, just about $1,300. So 9.32 was where I entered. I waited for this pullback and I went ahead and got in on it. Now what you can see, a few minutes after I took this position, the stock started to turn a little bit. You can see that it turned down two red candles, but we were still holding above the VWAP and we were still holding above the nine period exponential moving average on the one minute chart. So I was comfortable holding this. If this stock ended up you know, closing red here on this candle, below the VWAP, maybe closing back towards open around 486, that would have been my indicator to get out, take my profits, or I'm sorry, take my losses in that situation and call it a day on that trade. But we found support, we curled up on this nine period, and we started to move higher. You can see that we moved higher, found some temporary resistance at 488. So I was watching that 488 level to see if we could break it. Now what you can see is the stock was making higher lows this whole time. Here's a low, here's a low, and right here was the next low that broke right through this resistance. A really nice textbook breakout there. So we had that breakout, to four, you know, 504 of a high of 506, and we started to turn down a little bit again. Three consecutive red candles, a break below the nine period exponential moving average, sort of testing that 498 support again, and that's when I went ahead and took my first sell. So pulling that position back up, you can see that my first sell was at 949. That was right here on these three red candles. You know, I was up quite a bit on this position and I wanted to go ahead and lock in some profits. I didn't want to get greedy. I didn't want to have this completely reverse on me. I still was trusting this nine period exponential moving average. 
especially looking at it on the five minute. This was right around 950. So 950 was this green candle right here on the five minute. So it was definitely still bullish on this trend, but I wanted to take some profits and let, you know, a little bit smaller of a position ride, you know, throughout the day. So I took one contract there and held the, the next one. So you can see we continued to curl up. We found support again on this nine period perfectly here and, you know, spiked through this 506 to 507.49. Now this, at this point, I was getting a little bit worried about the stock. You can see on this breakout here of 498, we had a really clean, clean breakthrough and continued higher, about four or five dollars a share. Now on this breakthrough, if we move this price up to here, that was the next breakthrough line. So we had a break there, a curl back up, similar to what it did here, but this breakthrough was pretty weak. Pretty low volume if you look down at these volume bars. On this breakthrough, look at this volume bar. So the breakthrough around 944 was a really nice volume. This one, not so much. So I was getting a little nervous there. It wicked up, closed the, the next candle red, and that's when I started to think maybe it's my time to go ahead and take my profits. I was up $1,300. I didn't want to get greedy, and that's exactly what I did. So pulling that back up, what you can see is 1001 was my next sell, which was right here, and I went ahead and sold it for 2440. So all out of the position there, you can see that the next few candles were red. We closed another we closed a candle here below the nine period exponential moving average. That was the first candle to close below it. So after we had that first candle close below the nine EMA right here at 1004, right after I sold my position the stock started to make lower lower highs. So we had a lower high here, another lower high, and we're just stair-stepping down, finding resistance at the nine EMA all the way down. So happy I went ahead and got my profits there. You can see the trend started to change a little bit and we were starting to make lower, lower highs. So here's one, here's the next one, here's the next one, and we were just downtrending at that point. Now the next thing that I wanna go ahead and show you is how you could have used the same strategy to buy Zoom puts intraday. So if we look over here on the five minute chart, it broke the VWAP here, it fell on this 1130 candle, tried to retest right here on the nine and ultimately failed once again. Now this big red candle, two consecutive red candles to break below the VWAP and the nine period EMA. If you went ahead and executed puts right at that point, there was not one candle that closed above that nine EMA all the way until 1405, which is 205. So you could have went ahead and scalped some puts right here, starting around 1145, all the way to around 205. Now this indicator, this green candle that broke above and closed above would have been my indicator to take profits. So really nice breakdown there, sort of textbook on this strategy. You can see we just stayed below that, in, that line the entire day. And so I know some members went ahead and took that trade and made a really nice profit. So that's really nice to see. If you look at it on the one minute, it's a little bit more scary, right? Because the one minute it breaks above, it breaks below, a little bit more volatile. That's why I like to make sure to have the five minute because it sort of evens things out a little bit. Another stock that this would have worked perfectly on today was Peloton. So Peloton, looking at in the morning, had a really big gap up. And if you would have went ahead and got into some call options here, what you can see is that this thing stayed above the nine EMA all the way until 1120. So we had you know, a little bit more volatility on the one minute. You probably would have got faked out if you were just looking at the one minute chart here. But we, we spiked up, we held the nine, we held the VWAP the entire day. A few VWAP tests on the one minute right here, another one sort of right here. But we held this uptrend really nicely. We held the uptrend on the one. You can see on the five minute, we were holding that nine period EMA all the way up until this point where you can see that clear breakthrough. So a clear breakthrough, two candles that closed below right here at 11.30, and then look what happened after that. After that breakthrough at 11.30, we had just a clear breakdown. So one, two candles to break below, tried to retest it, continued to fail all the way until about two o'clock as well. So if you would have got into this, switched your thought on this from bullish to bearish, saw this breakdown at the nine EMA, got into some puts, you would have been comfortable to hold this without any question because all you would have had to say in your head is as long as the price stays below the nine period EMA on the five minute chart, I will go ahead and hold these put options. So you hold this, you see this, this uh, reversal right here, get out, take your profits, walk away, and have a great weekend.
So there is my breakdown of my Zoom trade, why I got into it, why I was holding it due to that nine period exponential moving average, holding as support as we trended higher. Also, Peloton, another opportunity that I saw today, breaking it down after the market closed, seeing how I could have used the same strategy on that trade. I recommend you guys do the same thing. Go through some charts, put the nine period EMA on your chart, see where you could have used this exact same strategy and try to take advantage of it. It's a pretty easy strategy to use if you keep your emotion out of the trade. Just watch the candles on the one minute and the five minute. If it breaks above two consecutive candles, get out of the trade if you're in a put. And if it breaks below two consecutive candles, get out of it if you're in a call option. Strict, stay to the rules, don't get emotional. So if you guys enjoyed that video, if you want me to post some more like this, breaking down this strategy, showing you guys some of my trades, make sure to support this video by pressing that like button and subscribe to the channel for some future videos. If you wanna join my Discord chat, it'll be the first link in the description below. Join 1200 other traders trading on a daily basis, talking about everything we talked about today and much more. So guys, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Go out and do something exciting. Get your mind off the markets. Come back next week refreshed. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.